Yeah. Yeah. What's going on, everybody? It's your boy iPod King Carter here. Today, I'm going to be going over the unlocks and collect, which is basically your equipment, your abilities, and other things that you need in Star Wars to become Darth Vader. No, I'm just playing. Let the Force be with you. I have no problem with anybody that doesn't like Darth Vader. But if you do like Darth Vader, Come on over to the dark side, man. I'm team iPhone. I'm just saying, you know, I know it's all about the dark side. But today I'm just going to be going through what I like best, the best setup for me online. And I'm going to tell you guys now, when I say this is literally one of the best, not if the best setups in Star Wars Battlefront, pinch me, please, because there's a lot that you people need to know. Now, the first thing that we're going to go over today is definitely Ion Torpedo, yo. Trust me, Ion Torpedo saves me in clutch moments when I'm playing Supremacy or Walker Assault. Now, at the EA event, I did a lot of gaming, I did a lot of recording, and trust me, Ion Torpedo was definitely in one of my setups and was definitely highly needed in those situations. Now, there are many other things that you guys will definitely probably like. You will probably like impact grenades of that such and pulse cannons. Some people didn't like pulse cannons, but I'm telling you now, if you set that up with the right card, anything is possible. But the next thing my go-to is definitely the jump pack. Without the jump pack, I would not be able to clear any type of ground whenever I need to get over top of a cliff or something like that because it's very hard to find alternate routes when you're trying to get through this game now the next thing is homing shot homing shot is the clutchest thing in the game i will tell you now who's going up against legion and so many different games if you guys don't know who legion is it's one of my astro stream team homies man listen we were going at it all day long and he equipped this and was literally trolling me the entire event i did not know what to do now check this out i'm just sitting over on top of the cliff looking down and just literally waiting for her to come out of her bubble to lay the smacketh down with that god darn homing shot and i finally get to become a hero i'm telling y'all now equip it you're gonna need it in tight situations and look a luke but moving on i know we can't just stay in one place we got a lot to talk about a lot to do and look at this man the last thing on this list is the explosive shot now this was one of the moments where i got legion back i promised to god that i would get him back and i will only have eyes for him and i literally took him down with this explosive shot this is one of the most op cards in this game equipping explosive shot to any gun turns it into a laser not just any beam but a laser i'm telling y'all now man explosive shot is clutch and barrage is another monster in its own i didn't even want to show you guys any barrage gameplay because it is insane you don't want to see it i'm telling you you probably will put some your hands over your eyes because that's how crazy it is but basically barrage is like three little mini grenades they all explode and i'm telling you in the tight quarters and even in the open mat man you can lay somebody out with barrage but moving on to the weapons, my first choice is the E11. I'll tell you more about that later. The E11, literally, hands down, one of the best, like, little, but you know what? The range isn't that great, but I'm telling you, equipping that with explosive shot is insane. But, yo, this gun right here, this gun right here, Mike, this gun is the most OP gun I have ever used in any shooter any shooter equipping that gun literally it's like equipping a thorn before it got nerfed if any of you guys have ever played destiny you know what i mean when you get hit by the thorn like this gun was insane but right now i'm just going over all the little human stuff and you know the way the the setups can be now in my next few videos i will be showing you guys some shadow trooper gameplay because you can get the shadow trooper uh unlock for appearance once you get to level 50 but i do have that gameplay as you guys may have seen i was the shadow trooper a couple times in this video but look man i'm gonna break it down to y'all just like this when you want to get your unlocks and your equipment down i'm telling you now the e11 or the dl44 a jetpack explosive shot 
in either a ion torpedo, a homing uh, shot, or you can go with barrage. A lot of people go with barrage because it's easier, it's faster, it's quicker, and you can just switch guns and just bang, bang, and then switch back to your primary and then equip explosive shot, and you can literally take out like four to five people. It, it just I'm talking about multi-killer, man. It's crazy like that. But this is your boy IKC signing out. I hope you guys enjoyed the gameplay. I hope you guys like this video. I hope you guys show your support. But I did want to show y'all that Shadow Trooper, man. So this is what I was using in this uh, Walker Assault right here. You guys can see that I was using that Barrage. Now, the only reason I was using Barrage on this Walker Assault is because once you go into the building, it's like close quarters and it's like very, very tight. And I was laying people down. I'm just trying to tell y'all right now. She's laying them down. That's how your boy do, man. But uh, this gameplay was recorded at EA event and uh it was for a game changer program and I hope you guys enjoyed. I'll see y'all in the next video. Peace. Year. Thank you for watching and be sure to like this video. For more videos from this particular mode click more videos. If you want to see more content from IKC click subscribe. It's, it's, it's.